Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Real quick, thank you to everyone who tuned in last night, or tried to tune in, for the uh, live broadcast of Activate Worcester, in which I was a guest on, uh, on Channel 13 WCCA-TV in Worcester. Uh, there were some technical difficulties in the studio, first with audio, then with video, so we had to cut the live stream for YouTube. It was shown live on TV and Facebook, and I did add that raw footage to my Facebook channel. Link is in the description if you want to check out uh, the television show that I shot last night. Uh, thank you to Chris Pinto and Massachusetts Gun Rights for asking me to come on. I'm honored, and it was a good time. Thank you very much. The House of Representatives just the other day passed uh, their version uh, of the 2018 National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA for short. And in this, they mandated that all surplus M1911 pistols be made available to qualified civilians. Now all these 1911s that are still in the Army inventory as surplus would be made available through the Civilian Marksmanship Program. Now the new bill looks to overwrite the 2016 version which allowed surplus M1911s to be given to the uh, to the civilians through this program, Civilian Marksmanship Program. However, it didn't mandate it and we all know the amount of military surplus firearms that Obama gave to the people who bought them in the first place, zero. Not one came through this program. Now I'll have a link in the description if you want to read the text of the NDAA that was just passed by the House. But the big things, the big differences between the 2016 version and this year's version, number one, by striking subject to paragraph two, the secretary may transfer, and it's going to insert the secretary shall transfer. No wiggle room. And the second big difference is the 2016 version allowed up to 10,000 pistols to be released to the CMP. Now that was stricken as well, and it mandates all of them be released to the program. Now that would be good for a lot of people because there are an estimated 100,000 1911s right now in the Army uh, storage areas. It also is big because right now the Army pays about $200,000 a year just to store these pistols. And now that they've decided that they're going with a new version of a sidearm, they're going to have thousands and thousands of the Berettas, the M9s and, and, and the M11s that are going to be surplus very shortly too. So they need the storage space first off, and uh, maybe we can be getting those M9s and M11s soon too. Now I don't know about you, but if this does come to fruition, if the Senate signs off on it as well, I just might purchase my first 1911. I'm not a 1911 guy, I've never really had one to be honest with you. Uh, but, hell, if they go for sale for 200 bucks, I think I could do that. <laughs> if you like this type of information, please hit the thumbs up for this video. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already to get the latest news on the Second Amendment right here on YouTube. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.